What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Neoma, aka Miss Nene216. I am back with another video. This time I'm doing a tutorial video, a how to video. It's been a while since I've done one, so I figured it was time for me to get back at it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to create a donation button, a PayPal donation button. I'm sorry. If you want to use it for Twitch or YouTube or any personal donation site or type of thing. Um, so let's get started. So you want to log into your PayPal. No, this is not my main account, guys. Don't worry. So don't try to steal any information. <laughs> um, so you want to log into the main account and go to summary. That's where you should start at. You want to go down to tools drop down list and go to all tools. Click on all tools. Now, You'll probably, if you've never been in this section before, something will pop up that prompts you to uh, take a um, tour of the new site, and you could just click OK or skip. And then you want to go all the way down until you see PayPal buttons. Go ahead and click on that. So you want to create a new button if you've never created one before. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to choose a button type. Obviously, we're making a donation button, so you want to click on that. Excuse my son in the background whining, guys. Um, you can skip this stuff, but you can add it if you want, your organization name or the name of your store or whatever you choose to do. I'm personally going to skip this section. So this is what your donation button will look like. You can customize it if you see fit. I choose not to. I like this stock, cost, the stock, I'm sorry, donation button. You can change your currency. Um, I'm in the U.S., so I'll be using U.S. dollars. Contribution amount. Now, here's what I would recommend to you guys. I would recommend picking the first one, you know, to let them enter the amount that they want to donate to you. Because when you have a fixed amount, obviously, that would discourage people. If they want to give you 50 cents, but you want $5, and that'll stop some income. So why not let them give you whatever they want to give you? Right here, you can choose to use a merchant ID or you can use your email address. Um, <clears throat> me personally, I would probably use my email address, but it's up to you. Then you want to click down here and save buttons at PayPal. to drop down list. It's just showing you what it does and everything like that. Um, step number three, customize advanced features. Now, this is for if you, if you guys, um, I'm sorry, if they want to add a special message to you when they donate, you can click yes or no, or <clears throat> this one is for the shipping address. You wouldn't need that. I don't see why you would need a shipping address if they're donating to you. So you would skip all that. And then right here, if someone cancels a donation, you can send them to a website. You know, maybe something to entice them to go ahead and donate. And, or this one you can use when they're finished and they actually successfully donate to you to take them to a website. You know, just to say thank you. It's up to you. I'm going to leave that blank. But that's an option for you guys. So you want to go ahead and click Create Button. Now, it's giving you instructions here, but I'll make it short and sweet so you don't have to read all that. So if you're using Twitch, for example, Twitch doesn't take HTML format, so you'll have to click on email and click this link, copy this link. I would recommend that you email it to yourself so you don't have to log into PayPal every time you need to use it for something. But in the meantime, I'll just copy it or select code, whichever you want to do. It's the same thing. It'll copy it either way. And that's what you'll be using to copy and paste to your Twitch website, YouTube website, or whatever you need to create the button. You'll see the, the person that's donating to you will see the button. You'll see the link. So I hope that helps someone. Um, it's kind of hard to find in this new update. So I wanted to put that out there. And I've seen a lot of videos posted a year or two ago. Um, but it says 2017. But... Unfortunately, they don't have the new updated PayPal site, so I figured I should go ahead and put that out there. 
So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for anything that I should do, or maybe you have some suggestions on how I can improve this video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys and make sure you come back for more. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.